man, Christianity is one of the most dangerous religions out there. Let's talk about it. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Man, today I'm back at it, back at it handling kingdom business. Either this message is going to doggone make you run and tuck tail, or it's going to convict you to be better, to be obedient, to live a life of biblical truth. And the reason that I said Christianity is one of the most dangerous religions is because it'll have you doing a lot of stuff ignorantly that you think is right, but ain't no truth in it. Man, a lot of people look at my bold content and they're like, man, that dude is, is blunt. He's raw. He's real. But here's the thing, man, I've been saying, and you can find this information out on your own, that Christmas is not of the most high. Yah. Nowhere in scripture did God tell people to, you know, celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and the birth of Jesus Christ. We can't even find in the Bible being on December or in December, but yet dangerous Christians, ignorant Christians who are some of the most, as they claim, uh, Jesus loving people. But how can you doggone claim to love something that you don't even obey? And Jesus on this earth, you know, if you can't remember two things, he said, do this in remembrance of me. That was communion. And the rest of the time he said, do the will of my father. He never asked for none of the celebration that Christians tried to give him today. That's why Christianity is dangerous because they will have you doing everything that the religion wants you to do, but nothing of what the book says. And then when you start getting into, well, the book actually says, you know, if you cut down a tree out of the forest with the worksmanship of the act, I'm just paraphrasing the worksman of the act, you know, you fasten it to wood, you decking it with bells. It's telling you, you know, you're a heathen. You're following in the ways of heathens. But when you start talking to doggone dangerous Christians, what they will do is they, they're going to here's 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 how they're going to start deflecting. Well, we're not under that. That's that's law or that's Old Testament. That's New Testament. You know, that ain't for us. We're Christians. The book say that ain't for us. That's the games they start playing. And then you start to realize, you know, you might have to distance yourself and be ye separate from them loved ones. You see what I'm saying? From your family members. Let me tell you a real testimony, man. Man, my mama has been struggling with mental health illnesses, you know, all my life. All my life. I'm 33 years old. And my mama don't go to church. My mama don't read her Bible. My mama don't say much of nothing, uh, you know, too positive or righteous on any given day. So out of all days, my mama calls and she says, hey, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I say, mama, you know, I don't celebrate that. You don't have to you don't have to call me in the future with that. She says, well, I know you don't celebrate it, but Jesus was born on the 25th. And and honestly, I'm like, man, I'm talking about Christianity has a lot of people fooled, a lot of people fooled, because when you start asking them to provide scriptures to show what they're trying to get you to do and just you know, passing on word of mouth, they can't do it. But I can show you all day in scripture where it's telling you we're supposed to abstain from evil. We're not supposed to be worshiping multiple gods. We're not supposed to take after the way of the heathen. But here's the thing, you know, today is a day where Christians celebrated Christmas and did it in Jesus name, where they were doing rituals of paganism in Jesus name. And the only time that, you know, Christians that didn't get caught up in the moment thought about God was when they said grace, asking for a little bit more time, have a little bit of compassion over me. Probably did it while they was eating that swine too. That's another one that they say, you know, that ain't for us. It's like everything that the book says that we should be doing as far as obedience, Christians want to deflect away from it. About 95% of them want to deflect away from it. You know, got a lot of, got a lot of honor for my mother, my grandparents and things like that, because that's the only family I got. But I want to tell you, when you start taking this walk, you have to realize that you have other family. You have a stronger family in the body of Yahshua HaMashiach. You got a stronger family. That blood family can only take you so far because you can follow your blood family, you know, for the rest of your life. And you can, you know, at your judgment, be told you're going to hell too. part ways for me for I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. 
lawlessness. That's what iniquity is. So if you fall in everything that grandma says, come on over to come on over to my house and get a little Christmas plate and open up some gifts with it. Ain't no ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, Christians, we do it because we love Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ain't nothing in, ain't nothing in this day about Jesus. It's all kind of demonic, satanic spirits. And you got people that say, you know, well, when my kids is little, I'll tell them, you know, about Santa Claus and stuff like that. So they can get in the spirit, the Christmas spirit. Getting in the Christmas spirit is getting into a doggone demonic spirit. That's what it's doing. Getting getting you into a demonic spirit. When you look at the, the origins of Christmas and then how it was celebrated in doggone, you know, Europe, some of the same stuff goes on over here. And you got all these people sleeping at night, not even repenting with their disobedient butt. Talking about, yeah, I love Jesus. I feel good because I'm a Christian. I got Christian freedom. Man, Christianity is one of the most dangerous religions because Christians teach their kids how to lie. Instead of telling them the truth and celebrating the feast days of the book or don't even celebrate nothing, they just keep on lying. Well, it don't mean that to us. We just getting together for a little, little family. But you can do that any other time. What's stopping you from going to, to visit your family on the weekdays? Why has it got to be a holiday for you to doggone go over there and visit your family? You know, this is this is stuff that when you start putting that heat on these doggone dangerous Christians, they start deflecting. They start deflecting. Oh, that must be old covenant. You know, we new covenant. We only we only, you know, only only these four books apply to us when it comes to certain topics. But if that's how you choose to live and them words on the paper don't jump out and convict you when you see do not follow after the way of the heathen i got tired of being a doggone heathen see that lip service these dangerous christians give is very easy but man when it comes to walking in obedience and cashing that doggone check with actions they're not about that life they're not about that life definitely ain't about it how many how many how many kids got brainwashed once again thinking today is about doggone jesus when you ain't open up your dog on Bible one time, you must remember the Bible that good to where you can just celebrate a day that's supposed to be all about Jesus. And you ain't tapped in of none of the teachings of the most high. Yah. Come on now. But I guarantee you was pulling that dog on wrapping paper back off of them new electronics. You want it. You was feeding your dog on fat flesh. You see what I'm saying? I told you this message is going to either convict you. To, to walk in truth or you're going to tuck tail and run. We are commanded in the scripture to deny our flesh. But when you think about, here we go, out of all the Christians that celebrate Christmas and they cleave on to it, they cleave on to it. They don't even cleave on to their wife. They, they cleave on to all this, this paganism, this devil worship. Think about how narrow the gate is. Straight is the way. Think about how many Christians ain't going to make it up in there. Think about that. That's the reason that scripture is important. Straight is the way, narrow is the gate. But when it comes to doggone destruction, look at the way the world is going. They doggone, they, 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 they hey, you got, you got the world celebrating Christmas. You got people in every country celebrating Christmas different and Christians running towards the world. Mouth just wide open. Ah, give me Christmas. Ah, then you got these doggone, you know, weak Christian pastors sitting up in there justifying it. I told you, man, Christianity is a dangerous religion because when you start reading in that book yourself, you can be like, man, this don't line up with this don't line up with nothing we've been doing. We, we it's like we've been missing out on all of the doggone holy days, the holy convocations, the feast days. But yet we've been doing what the rest of the world is doing, celebrating all these holidays rooted in paganism. When you think about it, people cling on to Christianity thinking that they're a part of something good that's going to save them, but you getting a part of something that's just dangerous and wicked as can be. Dangerous as wicked as can be. Come out of her, my people. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting a gun barrel straight. Bow.